Full time at the Meadow, Shrewsbury Town have beaten Plymouth Argyle by two goals to nil. Another goal for Rock and Abiri and a clean sheet. Three more points for Danny Coyne's men. How perfect can Knights get? <laughs> Pretty comfortable. Could it get more perfect? Maybe if Danny Coyne wanted the job. You don't know. <laughs> he doesn't um, know, does he? That's nah. the thing. No, nah, I think we can put that one to bed again. Yeah. We've put it to bed many times, but oh, yeah. God. Um, you know, winning and winning isn't going to make him want the job anymore. <laughs> well, I that's the think. thing I was just talking to you about because every win that he gets now, they're going to want him to take it more and more, the fans, and he still well, doesn't want yeah, it. Yeah, I think that most of the fans have got the message now that you know he's quite happy with uh, goalkeeping coach and, you know, I, fair play to him, he, he, he sees his position and, and he said a couple of times that football's fickle and, of course, we remember what happened a couple of years ago when he lost 4-4 and it was pretty horrible for him, so don't blame him in the slightest. Um, and, yeah, the manager search goes on, but... Tan up 16th, seven points from the drop zone. Comfortable tonight, kept a poor Plymouth at arm's length. Mm. And, you know, some of the Tan's very good players are producing fairly regularly now. There's a bit of consistency. That word we were um, missing for sort of three months under Janowski seeming to come to the fore. I was going to say, we jumped straight past the game, talking on to the manager straight away. We'll go back yeah, to we the did. game then yep. now. Yep. Um, Plymouth didn't look very special at all, and uh, a Shrewsbury side who looked very tired on Saturday Yeah, looked completely re-energised tonight didn't they yeah yeah Danny Coyne um, said to me yesterday that in training on the Monday when they came in they were revitalised I thought that was an interesting word because he did say the running levels were down at Wickham you know Wednesday night Saturday is hard mm. you could see that uh, some people saying he, you know, winding out this tired excuse for, for town but it's only a no they're playing six games in 18 days that's mm. a lot three in six days but Wednesday night to a Saturday when other clubs hadn't you know, Wickham had played in that week is, is a big ask and Eric Ramsey's just said there that was a big ask took its toll um, and it made me think we could see changes tonight against Plymouth um, there was only the one and that was at right back with James Bolton for Emmanuel um, and, and no other changes so the midfield four kept in even though they did look tired and, and the front two stayed the same and yeah you, you're totally right they looked reinvigorated re-energised um, you couldn't tell that they were in mid a, a harsh and hectic run um, God, the way Greg Doxy ran up and down the pitch all night. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, and others. Like, I mean, Doxy was the best player on the pitch. But, you know, others were bang at it. Mm. Having said that, you know, they weren't up against much in terms of Plymouth. No. The far harder tests lie ahead. But, um, yeah, it's all, it's all going really well. Isn't it? it was an interesting one because I thought, obviously, Plymouth are down there where they are. Obviously not having a particularly great start to their season. But they did pick up a win on yep. Saturday so I thought maybe they might follow it up with something but they really did look like a side that's probably going to be down there in May yeah they were, they were a long way from Shrews being and Shrews weren't at the best we've seen them under Danny Cody all this season remember Barnsley here uh, a number of Tuesdays ago when town were sort of a lot sharper than tonight you know they had more gears to go into tonight town I thought you know Eric Ramsey was totally right down there the academy boss uh, looking after things with Coney that they were in Total control from start mm. to finish. Ramsey thought I thought the same. I thought they had gears to go into. You know, probably at third, fourth gear could have ramped it up if they needed to. Um, two goals was enough. I think one goal would have been enough. You know, open the couple of moments slinging it into the box, Plymouth, and a couple mm. of you know Sadler and Waterfall were very good part of the defence. But Arnold doesn't have anything to do as he he has he did in the first half. Uh, in fairness, when it was at one yeah. 0 it's worth saying that he made that spectacular save to deny the own goal from Waterfall mm. and and Ladapo's just hit one right across the far post and the Ladapo chance was actually at nil nil. Could have gone another way early on but but Town I put in my um on Twitter and in my report were composed and clinical. Like the, you can't say there were that many chances tonight, but Town put you know, showed their clinicalness to, to put two away and really impressive attackers and, and, and the back four tonight, the centre halves. Yeah, a good night all round, lots of seven out of tens if we were given player ratings and a couple of eights. For Jiri Okunabi, you know, five goals in four games is a ridiculous return. You know, just talking to Stuart Dunn, then it's probably been a while since um, a town striker has, has gone on that sort of four-game uh, consecutive run. And, and Doherty, wow, Rangers must be taking note. It's mm. you know, six goals from midfield, very impressive, and he's all-round display. Almost up was then. Should we look ahead to the weekend? Yes, FA Cup. Yeah, another Sunday game. Mm. Um, Scunthorpe I don't know how they've gone tonight actually no. um, but they are struggling aren't they under Stuart McCall they're on a bit of a downward spiral um, they certainly have been the last month or so and Town should see this as a golden ticket to the third round and hopefully a, a 
plum yeah, tie. Hopefully the big boys come in at next um, round, so that'll be hopefully a lovely tie for. Yeah, and you know, the, Sam again speaking to Ramsey, Eric Ramsey just then, you know, momentum, feel good factors around the place, and you know, singing Danny Collins' all name all night tonight, it was a bit. Plymouth was so bad. The, the game at points felt the atmosphere. It felt a little, especially early on. It felt a little not dull, not boring, mm. but it was quiet, wasn't it? Because yeah. there weren't too much happening to get fans going, but still singing. Calling his name throughout the field good factor, everyone's pulling in the right direction now. It's a far cry from the final days um, under John Askey. And yeah, I, I can't see anything other than a town win at, here on Sunday against Gunthorpe to book a ticket for the third round. Um, be very interesting to, to know if there's a manager in place by then. Yeah. As we're speaking, it's 15 days since Askey was sacked. Um, you know, it took him 18 days to appoint Paul Hurst. It's getting into that, that, that territory and, and the club are winning, you know, absolutely fine. Four wins from five under Danny Coyne. It's buying the, the club and the board, you know, time to make the right decision, as, as they've said. So, fair play, you know, it's, it's a big appointment. Hopefully they get it right and things aren't going wrong on the pitch, are they? And they're, they're, they're playing superbly, they're playing for the manager. It looks to be an idea in, in how they're playing and uh, sort of pattern and style. And they haven't even had that much time training un, under Coyne and Ramsey mm. because of the hectic period so long may it continue um, we can rule out Robbie Fowler I think yeah Robbie Fowler was here tonight that's something that we should mention yeah. you can see that on uh, Shropshire's um, Dark not, not a name unfamiliar with a town vacancy mm. um, seems to crop up uh, any time there's a vacant role here but uh, yeah I don't think uh, yeah, as I've reported I, I don't think um, he exactly fits the, the blueprint mm. of what town are looking for and yeah I, I think we could probably cross his name off the list Let's see how it develops in the next couple of days ahead of the weekend because it's a Sunday game. Maybe they've got, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a few days now, four days, you know, the hierarchy and, and so on to to go through the business. Maybe if the interview stages are starting to, to get that underway and so on. Big appointment. And uh, yeah, let's see if they're in place by Sunday. But onwards and upwards for this team. And, you know, if it were me, right back pending Bolton Emmanuel, I'd, I'd keep the same 11 because it's it's clicked, it seems to be working. And uh, yeah, happy days. Feels like a good place at the moment. Mm. I think but you'd agree. Yeah, completely, definitely does. For the rest of the coverage, keep it at shropshirestyle.com.